What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Horizon 4. So we are here today in an MX-5. Did get a request for some uh, custom drift builds and one of them was in an MX-5. So we are in a little turboed MX-5. Oof. And this thing is uh, super light and uh, pretty quick. Only having 500 horsepower, but it is very light and uh, very power to weight ratio friendly. So, did get a request for a, basically, a subscriber drift build on MX-5. So we're here today, getting this thing sideways. Oh boy, there's other people drifting in the zone. And I got scared. I totally got scared with those people. So we are here in the MX-5. It is tuned up to about 500 some horsepower. Fully built uh, suspension, transmission, drivetrain, everything like that. And it's a, uh, it's a nasty little car. So probably need to do a little fine tuning on the suspension but I will definitely be trying to get that fine tuned for the end of the episode today because this thing is so light and so tail happy which kind of makes me think it's a, a very hard car to drift so I gotta go modify some settings a little bit and uh, give this thing another try get some guys like looks like they're doing some tandems or uh, attempting to do some tandems It'd be interesting oh yeah they're ripping down the hill get these guys just coming down ripping Ooh, yeah would love to uh, get sideways with these guys but you know fortunately we all go ghost So we are trying to rip this MX-5. All right, so this dude's got a phaser on his horn. So we're gonna rip this back up the mountain. Oof. So like I said, this MX-5 is about 500 some horsepower. I'll get into the, the details of the horsepower and everything here in a few. But it definitely rips. Is it an easy car to drift? No, because of the uh, short wheelbase, but we are going to make it make it work today. There we go. I probably should have upshifted the fourth, but I didn't want to lose all my power. Excuse me, trees. There we go. It's a nice little, uh, nice little car for sure. Not for the uh, amateur drifter, I guess you could say, because of the short wheelbase. We are definitely ripping this thing in fourth gear, though. Gonna shred through this drift zone real quick. Oh, that was a really hard flick. So this car does come back and snap on you real quick. But the thing is, it's manageable. And once you get it sideways and, it, and it's in a comfortable position, this thing slides and it is a lot of fun. It's a little angry, little go-kart in a sense because, so if you guys have been familiar to the channel, there is a member of the team who ate my hamster, who loves Miatas and MX-5s and he always wins like games of drift and, you know, challenges in his Miata. So this is kind of like a blasphemy build for me because I always t jokingly told him no more Miatas or uh, MX-5 builds and competitions and now here I am with a little MX-5 ripping through the streets of Britain. And spinning out at the same time. So before we get any further, let's take a look at what this car actually is. So it is just an MX-5 and we are running 508 horsepower, 433 foot-pounds of torque, 2,000 pounds, 
and it is rear wheel drive. It's an S1. Um, a lot of power for a little car. Um, car will probably be fun without a turbo. So we may take the turbo off and rip it without a turbo because it seems like it just has way too much power for what it is. But um, I will leave once I determine if it's a... I will leave a turboed version and a non-turboed version up on the marketplace if you guys want to download this tune and try it for yourself. Ooh. We're going to try and get this little S section. See, it's great for these sections with the turbo. With all the power it has. There we go. Little back roads. Oh, God. I say back roads and we're off on the grass. Little back road drifting. That's where we go that way. There we go. That was nice. Ooh, that was not nice. All right. So let's go take the turbo off real quick. Oh, well, we'll just drive here because we're right here. We'll take the turbo off. Like I said, it is fully tuned up with everything on it. Suspension is close to dialed in. Um, may make a finer tweak or two before I put it up for you guys to download and give a shot at. That was a very nice little leg. I'm just gonna flick this in. So before we take the turbo off, I'm definitely gonna go into the tune and save the turbo tune, and then I will do a non-turbo tune, and uh, we can, you guys can be the judge of which one you like better, turboed or not. So we have to go into here, go into tunings, and we are going to save setup. And we are going to save this as the MX-5 Turbo. MX-5 Turbo Drift. Well, obviously, it's, it, it will not say drift, but you guys will know what it is once it decides to upload. Drift, set it for good handling and we will set this as the MX-5 turbo drift so if you guys want to give the turbo version well I can't spell <laughs> I got ahead of myself there so if you guys want to give this a shot give it a try down download it let me know what you guys think I will also do the non turbo version as well up there you guys can let me know which one you like better and uh, we're going to take the turbo off this car because I feel like the turbo has just it's not overpowering but oof. so fully built on this little Miata or this little MX-5 because this is fully fully tuned it is only 330 horsepower that doesn't seem right does it yeah, that's right. So 330 horsepower on the non-turboed version, dropping it from 508. But the car only weighs 2,000 pounds, so we're gonna give it a shot with a non-turbo and see how this works without a turbo. Turbo versus tur turbo versus not, and uh, I guess see which one handles better. I mean, it is on sport tires. It's not on race tires or anything on those lines. Bet you I probably should have dropped the tire with the tires down since the non-turbo car does not have as much power, but. It still breaks loose. Wow, that's Porsche. So it still breaks its tires. So we can see how it handles in the little donut section. Clutch kick it. Oh, there we go. So a little less power, but uh, you have arrived at your destination. It handles quite fun, actually. Like I said, I've been having a lot of fun doing lower horsepower builds, more street streetwise build. That's why I did that 370 build the way I did. And now we're just ripping this uh, little 300 horsepower MX-5 here in the festival grounds. And we're gonna probably take it back to where we were and uh, see how much fun we can have there. Don't hit it, don't hit, oh, oh. My phone flashed. I looked away for a second. Texting and driving is not good, kids. Don't do it. Texting and Forza either. Obviously, I just wrecked this car. So we're going to rip this thing down this way and have a little fun and see how this handles compared to the turbo one was bouncing off red line. 
Ooh. All right, so here we go. Non-turboed version. Oh, I should downshift in the third. Honestly, I feel like I have a little bit more fun in these lower horsepower cars. They're just more fun to drift. You can get better closer tandems because of the fact that you're not just like speeding away. And you know, you can have a little more uh, a little more confidence knowing that hey, you just ripped a, you know, a 300 horsepower car through some of these sections that people are rocking, you know, 1000 horsepower all the drives or 1000 horsepower cars. Oh boy. And you're up there with them in a little 300 horsepower MX-5. So, suspension actually is quite good. It is on a basically tandem brakes at 50% pressure, but it is a light car, like I said, so it's not, it'll stop the car if it needs to. The clutch kick to keep the angle. Ooh, a little dirt drop, and that dirt drop uh, totally messed me up. So, I will leave this version up as well. Look, clutch kick. Tried to do it. Now it doesn't have as much speed to rip through these bigger sections, but uh, see how it handles the gravel. Ooh. Definitely a big pavement change. There we go. Does this handle pretty cool in gravel? We need to wash the car, anyways. So. I will leave this one up as well. So I just want to do a quick little video here on Friday with a little bit of a subscriber tune request. I probably will uh, be doing some other subscriber tunes and stuff like that here very soon. But I wanted to get one little one out there right now and give you guys a chance to try turbo versus not turbo. High power versus not so high power. And let me know which one you guys like better. Do you guys enjoy like this little 300 horsepower normally aspirated mx5 drifting through the city or would you prefer the 500 horsepower turbo version which is probably a lot of power for the weight that this car has this is a stock motor we're gonna try to rip this other drift zone here real quick before we end this off but let me know what you guys think turbo or not do you guys like high power drift cars or low power drift cars what is your favorite drift car that you guys have found are you having more fun in high power or low power? I'm very curious to see what people say on this, if they prefer turbo high powers or basically NA not high powered cars, because what do they have more fun with? Honestly, I feel like some of these drift zones are really made for lower power cars. You arrived at your destination. Thank you, I will take that. Not my best score. Almost my best. Ooh, Origin's got me beat. Uh, I feel like we could actually beat that with this, so I'm going to try and beat Origin's score here in this little MX-5 and uh, definitely pop that up in the team chat and be like, uh, hey, buddy, I got you. Got you with a little Miata. A little 3 horse power Miata. And see uh, if he decides to tackle back at me, but that's not going to be... Uh, that's not going to help me. So... Like I said before, I would like to be doing some auditions here very soon for the main team. So I'm thinking about doing races and drifting events to uh, see who I would like to get in that 25 spot team. Um, I do have a lot of people requesting to be part of it as well as a lot of people in mind for who I would like to have on the team. So just stay close to the YouTube channel and the Instagram, all of which from the description box below for the Instagram, but stay to the channel and all that for more updates on, you know, when I will be doing stuff like that. So I think we're going to rip this one more time. Would really like to beat Urgent though. That That is my goal, but I don't know if this little MX-5 is capable of that. I didn't even see what he did it in, so, but we're definitely gonna try that's probably not helping us right there because I completely lose focus on where I'm at maybe a little uh, first person drifting might help you have 
I'm gonna definitely run this in first person, see if maybe this helps. And see maybe if we can beat his score in this view. Like, I, I do love drifting in first person as well, as well as racing in it, so it's not something I'm, you know, like, oh, I'm just trying this, and, you know, I do do it a lot. Part on the clutch rev. I don't think I'm gonna get it. It's a fun little line, though. So, you have arrived at your all of my information is in the description box below. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys prefer? High-powered cars or low-powered cars? I honestly have a little bit more fun in lower-powered cars. So, until next time, guys, follow me on all my you know, social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I said Instagram twice, get wrecked. So, until next time, guys, I like, thank you guys for coming back. It's just a little quick video here on Friday with a little subscriber build, and I'm wrecking people's houses. So, full list of videos coming out next week starting monday so i hope you guys come back to watch all the daily uploads for next week so until then i will see you guys next time so me out it's fun until we do that get wrecked